I mean, probably the first thing that people are going to say about this is like, oh, he photoshopped it. It's Photoshop. And the second thing they're going to say, well, why wouldn't you photoshop it when they hear it's all in camera? Steve and I used to skate Glendale Skate Park quite a bit in like 2000 and uh, we were talking one day and I had an idea of trying to shoot a photo and he said oh, we should do this picture um, similar to these other cats Salva and Dunlap and then we thought you know since we're kind of goofy dudes that we should dress up somehow and I don't recall I'm sure it was him he said yeah we should do it in a, like I'll be the English pilot and you can be uh, the Red Baron and I will be shooting you down. In my mind, I always pictured it as a, like a First World War dogfight, you know, where planes are chasing each other around and stuff. And uh, my dad had a military collection. He was British and he was very into um, military history and everything, so I've always had that kind of connection to it. I mean, I guess I came into the project maybe like the last few months of it, the tail end of it, because I guess I've been talking about it for a good 15 years or something. <laughs> They came with the idea, they needed a place to do it. And you know, it was left to me to basically produce the image. And obviously I'm, I'm, I'm super lucky that they trusted me on that. It's like, okay, he's gonna know what he's doing. Like, you know, it's only gonna happen once or twice, maybe, if you're lucky. The holdback always was, I couldn't get the backdrop done. I was trying to figure out how to get the backdrop done. So we just never did it. And so, Arto was truthfully, the, I had told him it, and he was just like, no, you gotta paint that thing. Lance was like, I am painting it, I am painting I was like, yeah, you are. You're painting it, you're a painter. And we mentioned it one more time, and I was just like, that's it. And this is how I do things. I just went to Home Depot and got a drop cloth and some sticks, and I came over and we started <laughs> nailing it together. Set it all up, and I got my paint, and I did like this much blue. I, I started it with a thing, and I was like, I can't do this. And our friend Wesley was here, and he was like, I know a guy that can paint backdrops. Well, I've, been, I've been painting murals for 20 years, so that part wasn't as, as crazy. I guess the part that, that was fun and, and sort of enlightening and always is, is like when you try and show someone else to do your thing, you know, like I've been doing it forever, so I, I do know what I'm gonna do. But when you get there and there's two guys that, I mean, they're artists, but I don't know. <laughs> What their, what their background is with large scale stuff. So yeah, we we're just trying to trying to work through all the kinks and it was awesome though. Both Lance and Steve went for it and made it happen. It was totally a, a complete new learning experience for, for myself and I think maybe a little bit for Lance, but Tate was like just this complete pro dude. The way he did it was awesome too, I think, because it wasn't spray paint, it wasn't modern. It was more of a, classic way of doing things with oils and stuff and he kind of like actually taught us techniques and stuff as we're doing it and um, if we would have met him 12, 14 years ago it would have been done a long time ago. This is the first cover I've ever shot of a US magazine. For me that just makes it even so much more special. This is probably the greatest achievement for me in skateboarding as a whole. Yeah, I mean, th there was the back lip cover of me skating, but that's just whatever. This is way more important, you know? <laughs> I mean, this is one for my history book, because, I mean, geez, it's going to be a cover. That's exciting. Painting with these guys, really exciting. I am truly so proud to be a part of the whole thing. And I'm not the guy to say that, ever. I, I am, though. I'm super proud. Friends now? Yeah, Friends now? Never. All the Veriflex <laughs> stuff behind? <laughs> I never. What? I just think skateboarding for me has always been like these ideas and these things to make you dream or think about certain things and so if I wanted people to take away just do skateboarding how you want to do it yeah do it how you want to do it <laughs>